Good morning, buenos dias, beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva. And it's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today and for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Today is a Monday morning and I am out here it might be around 6 30 in the morning i've been up since 5 30. i just cooked a bunch i made a chicken salad and japanese fried rice and today is the day i'm heading out to the sierra nevadas for some field work i'm an ant researcher and our lab studies ants that live in high elevations so we're going up to the sierra nevadas today for four days i'm going with my boss but it's gonna be fine. My boss is super, super chill, so it'll be a good time. So we're going up there, and I thought it would be fun to do a little garden tour and garden plan with me before I head out, because I really wanna capture the state of my garden as it is right now. I'm gonna be gone for four days, and my boyfriend's taking care of the garden for one day. Then my mom and my roommate, Knav, are taking care of my garden the other two, three days. But I'm a little bit nervous because I just am nervous whenever I have someone else take care of my garden. So I just want to capture the state of my garden as it is right now, just in case, you know, something crazy happens while I'm gone and my garden is wrecked. Hopefully not. Hopefully it'll all be fine. But... I just want to do a little video of my garden right now and how it is. I'm really proud of how it is right now and I just like capturing my garden as it evolves and progresses and as the year continues on. So let's flip the camera around and I'm going to give you a little tour of my backyard and my garden. Let's go. Okay, so this is where um, I'm sitting right now and you can look out into my backyard here. My backyard is divided into two parts, basically the patio part where I have all of the patio furniture, my gardening bench over here. I have potted plants here and there. I have a lot more potted plants on this side, like on this edge here, just because um, this patio here is covered by this roof, so we don't get a lot of sun, which is good for us, but not good for plants, um, usually because I like growing full sun plants. So we have a lot of pots over here. Um, I just rearranged some things the other day. Um, I put this table over here with the umbrella. This table used to be right here behind me, like over there, like over here, like in this area. But I wanted to move it over here and then add an umbrella. I think it looks so cute. So let us get into um, the garden. The garden is over here. I have it in four different beds right now. So we have bed number one, two, three, four. Oh, actually there's five. There's five beds now. <laughs> I finally completed this bed right here. So this is the fifth bed. So let's go over there. Oh, and then right here is where I keep all of my sprouts and seedlings. So I, I sow seeds in these guys, and then as they get big, I transplant them into the garden beds over there. Let's move back over here. So right now, I've just sowed a bunch of things last week, so we're just starting to see sprouts. So these are all sunflowers. These are corn. We have eggplants over here. We have tomatoes over here and squash over here, but these have not sprouted. And then these are lettuce. Um, it might have been too hot to sow lettuce. I was hoping that I could get away with it, but nothing has sprouted yet. Over here we have marigolds. These two are marigolds. And then these are tomatillos. And then over here we have squash. Nothing has been sprouting yet. Over here we have four squash and two of them have sprouted. So these are really exciting actually because these squash, these four squash are actually for a zucchini growing contest at my local nursery. They were handing out seeds for a zucchini growing contest. The goal is to grow the biggest zucchini possible. And so I have two of my zucchinis already sprouting. These are beans right here and nothing has sprouted yet except this one looks like it's going to sprout. So I'm excited about that. And then over here we have cucumbers. Very excited about these. So those are the sprouts. 
And then this is my garden right now. It is so lush and I love it. The gopher has been killing some plants though. So he chewed off this branch right here and I need to pick it up and throw it in the compost. It's also chewed that branch over there. So I need to pick that up. But starting on this side, this is my pumpkin right here. And I just got this super cute sign at Home Depot, a garden sign. I think it's adorable. I also got another one back over there, but we'll get to that in a second. So this is my pumpkin. It is massive. It is a Big Max pumpkin. And these flowers right here are lilies. I planted the lilies in before the pumpkin got massive. So that's why I have lilies kind of interspersed throughout the pumpkin. But what's crazy is that unfortunately I only have one pumpkin. I don't have several pumpkins. And in order for the pumpkins to give fruit, they have to be fertilized. And a lot of the times squashes will only open their male flowers one day and then they'll wait a few days and then they'll open their female flowers. And that's so that the plants don't self-pollinate and you know fertilize themselves which can be bad for them in terms of their genetics. So what I'm trying to say is that because I only have one pumpkin plant and you can see here it probably has only male flowers open so that's a male flower right there you can tell by the shape of this reproductive organ right there. Um, let's go over here let's check out this flower. This is another male flower with a bee on it. Check that out. It looks like a longhorned squash bee. I'm not sure though. So what I'm trying to say is that my pumpkin has been cross fertilizing with my zucchini because it's hard to tell but I have a zucchini plant right here right next to the pumpkin and because I only have one pumpkin and it's not able to self pollinate itself, self fertilize itself. It's cross fertilizing with the zucchini and I'm getting zumpkin. So that's a cross between a, a pumpkin and a zucchini. And if you are curious about what that looks like, we have one right here. That is a zumpkin. It's basically a pumpkin that looks like a zucchini. And it's also a bit light colored. Um, it's not a dark green, it's a light green. So <laughs> I've been getting zumpkin. I have a lettuce over here, more lilies. And then I also have another zumpkin over here. Let's show you this guy right here. This one's massive. Look at that. I kind of want to carve them like pumpkins. It might as well, right? So this is my hand. That's the zumpkin. Isn't that amazing? Okay. So I have a couple of things in here as well. Like I have this corn. I'm trying to like grow the three sisters. So corn, beans, and squash. Right there, this plant right there, that is a marigold. Right next to it um, is my second garden bed. I have a bunch of lettuce, some beans. This is a bean right here. Um, that's a bean over there. I've been trying to stake them and have the beans grow up the stakes. These are tomatoes right there. That's another tomato right here. Let's explore this bed actually. Um, this is another tomato right here. This one's actually starting to grow some tomatoes. I don't remember what variety of tomato this is. Um, so I'm interested because that's a funky tomato shape. Lettuce. This lettuce is bolting. It's definitely gotten to the point where it is too hot for the lettuce and this one has decided to end its life. Um, I feel kind of bad because I haven't been able to eat too much lettuce this summer and so I feel like my lettuce haven't been, you know, being taken advantage of, but that's fine. This patch of dirt over here is pretty empty. Um, I used to have a bunch of lettuce and leeks in this section, but the gopher is very, very active in this section and it has been pulling out quite a bit of lettuce and leeks and so it feels like a desert here. I just planted some strawberries in here. Uh, me and my boyfriend picked them out and planted them, so we'll see how those do. Uh, I have two tomatoes here, another lettuce, another tomato. Um, we have a tomato over here and a tomato over there, and two tomatoes over here. <laughs> I love tomatoes. 
So we'll see what happens. Uh, my boyfriend just got a gopher trap, so we shall see if we can trap this gopher. And then I have a leak over there. I'm pretty much done with the leaks. If y'all remember my last garden vlog, I had a bunch of leaks. But this time around, um, they are starting to get old and the gopher ate a bunch of my leeks. And so I don't really have a lot of leeks anymore. And then in this garden bed right here in front, this is the newest garden bed. And I have the two tomatoes here. I have four cantaloupes. I have two right here, one in this corner and then one in that corner. I have never grown cantaloupe before. It's a vine fruit so it's been interesting we shall see if i manage to grow cantaloupe um, and then i have uh five squash these are five zucchini and i'm already getting a good amount of zucchini here um, i think each one of these plants has at least one zucchini and yeah i'm really happy with the zucchini it looks really good and really healthy these plants look very nice. I need to spray some neem oil because it seems like they're getting a little bit of powdery mildew. But that's an easy fix. Okay, and then moving on to this garden bed, which is a jungle right now. So we have tomatoes right here. Um, these two massive plants are tomato plants. And this one is a cherry tomato. And the cherry tomatoes are starting to come in. You can see they're starting to redden up, but we have a lot of tomatoes here. It's going to be delicious. And then over here we have a beefsteak tomato, and you can see that these tomatoes are massive. Look at that. It's huge. I think I counted tomatoes on this plant, and I have 19 tomatoes on this plant. And over here we have another big boy tomato. This one is husky red. And it grew kind of weird. I wasn't paying attention to it. And it kind of grew kind of sideways. And so the tomatoes there are on the floor. I can't really do anything at this point, unfortunately. So it will just have to be like that. But it's also coming in pretty nicely. I have two more tomatoes right here. A beautiful sage right there. And I have a couple of zucchini. Another tomato right here. Um, we have some peppers. This is a pepper. This is a pepper. A watermelon. This is another watermelon right here. A marigold. A pepper. Um, a cantaloupe. A tomato. Tomato. Pepper. Watermelon. A marigold. A tomato. And this right here is another zucchini. We have some corn over there. I have a marigold over here. Oh, and this is the other sign that I got at Home Depot. Super, super cute. The little dog in his truck. We have some corn here, some beans. And then this is a sunflower. It's massive. It's about six feet now. And then we have corn over here. And then check this out. This is one of my zucchinis. Oops, I just broke one of my watermelon leaves oh no okay this is my massive zucchini do you see this i'm growing it <laughs> i'm trying to grow it i'm trying to grow it as big as i can grow it this is practice for the um, zucchini growing contest i'm part of it is massive it is humongous do you see this is my hand that is the zucchini insane um so yeah we have the zucchini another zucchini and then the last garden bed that we have here is probably my most empty garden bed but it's starting to come in some of the things are starting to come in we have a squash um corn a strawberry over here a lettuce um, a tomato this is a marigold we have another tomato over here, which I'm going to need to stake some of these. This is a pepper. This is a serrano pepper right here. We have a lettuce in here. This is a tomato. We have some more lettuce, a flower, a little lettuce over there, a strawberry corn. This is a tomato corn. Um, this is a tomato. This is a marigold, which is starting to sprout. A bean, corn, lettuce lettuce, a sweet potato in that corner over there, 
a marigold, um, another corn, and this is another sunflower right here. Also massive. This is about almost six feet because it is almost like a foot taller than me. Um, okay, and then over there, over here, we don't have a lot of stuff. We actually have another sage plant over here. This zucchini is massive. It's like sprawling from over there. Um, and then we have some tomatoes right there. And another zumpkin over here. So cute. So that is the overview of my garden. There's a lot going on. And I guess the last thing I want to show you all is um, my pot potted plant collection over here. Because... Um, I went through all of it last week and really cleaned it out and and really like checked in with each of my plants. But this is a mint here. It's struggling a little bit. I don't know why. Um, maybe I'll have to repot it. Not sure. But over here I have a thyme. This is a thyme. And then right here I have a dill which is starting to bolt. A parsley. A bunch of potted plants. Um, a lot of my cactus. These are some of my cactus here. And then these are my basil. My basils are looking thick. And that's pretty much everything that I have. Um, we have some flowers over here. But other than that, that is the entire garden tour. So I hope you enjoyed that. And now let's get to the plan with me. Hola, hola. We're here for the plan with me. And actually, this is happening way in the future from when I filmed that first part that you just saw. I thought I would have time to film the second part right before I left to the Sierras, but I just didn't. Um, and then I left for field work for, you know, most of the week. And then I came back and I had a million and one things to do and no time to do them. And so it is now July 20th, Thursday morning, and I am finally sitting down to do the plan with me. And that's just what happens. So anyways, um, I just set up my Franken planner. This thing is so much fun. I love it so much. And I have it in my super cute, happy, bright new zip folio from the, not the newest collection because he released tons of collections since this collection came out. But this is a relatively recent release from earlier this year. Um, I set it up. I'm in love with how it looks. And then this is my Franken planner. I have, I think, seven different planners in here right now. So, so cute. And actually, this cover was the back cover of um, the Happy Face line. This back cover was my absolute favorite, and I needed it to be the front cover. I think it looks so fun and so cute. And I covered up the little upside down logo with this amazing sticker, Let Your Conchas Be Your Guide. And then the inside cover is just like a sticker collage of various stickers I've had. Um, kind of laying around for the last year or so. Cover page, this is a sticker. I made my name page a sticker that I've been printing out and throwing everywhere. I still want to decorate these pages. I like decorating them using a mild liner to highlight the month names, um, adding stickers on these sidebars here. It just judges things up. And on the year at a glance, I do want to use this, but still haven't decided how I want to use this. Might just be a little journal, like a line a day thing. I don't know. Thinking about it. But it's plain for now. And then I just have a random brain dump page here. This is my July 2023 planner lineup video, which is going to come soon. But I still really need to get some things in line before I release that. So um, and then I have workout, meal planning, home, and my gardening planner is, let's see, it's kind of in the middle. 
Ah, here we go. I should probably label like the tops of these bookmarks, but I always change the bookmarks and then I'm, I feel like I'm always constantly peeling off labels off the top of them. So I kind of just want to leave them plain like this. We shall see. So this is my gardening section and I'm separating the sections in my Franken planner and my hybrid planner with just dividers. So this is the gardening section divider here. It's just a Mickey and Minnie floral divider. My little bee sticker in the corner. And I want to use this page, which I don't use the monthlies um, in my gardening planner. I want to use this page to print out photos and journal a little bit. I love making journaling like scrapbook style um, spreads with the monthlies because I just basically treat these as blank pages. Um, so this is something I set up last gardening planner plan with me. I'll link that up in the cards if you're interested in that. But this is a running series on my channel, Urban Farmer. I believe this is episode three. And I use these gardening project pages for like the entire season. So in case um, you don't remember or you haven't watched one of these videos before, my gardening planner is what I call a box a day style. Actually, someone called it that and I have stolen it and now I'm calling that as well. And I use an undated vertical. Let me pull this out. So with box a day, it's basically each box is a day. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. So you're looking at three weeks at a time um, with a you know standard weekly spread like this. And I like to separate months. So I'll have July starting, you know, whenever it starts. This month started on the Saturday. And then I will continue on um, until the end of the month, which this month is going to end on a Monday the 31st and I don't begin August um, in the same spread so I keep the month separate. I feel it gives me a little bit more room because sometimes I do kind of want more room. Sometimes a box a day isn't enough room for me. So and then on the back here this is where I'll start August and I'll start it you know um, Tuesday and then I'll just continue on and so forth. So um, for the gardening projects, um, this is actually a seasonal thing. So, and so because each month only takes up about, you know, a week and a half worth of planner pages, I end up um, using the dividers to separate seasons instead of months. And that makes sense to me as a gardener. And so these gardening project pages are for um, the season. So we're right now in the summer season and whenever fall rolls around I will switch into a new um, divider and section in my gardening planner and move into fall. So haven't really been keeping up with the expenses here. This is something I've been meaning to do and I just haven't. Um, this up here, this was a long list of tasks I had for myself um, and I have been checking them off pretty diligently. Some notes and reminders here. I did do some research on these topics. I actually kind of want to write it down because I kind of vaguely remember <laughs> what I found out about this. And this right here is my seed sewing table. So I have um, just dates of when I sewed things and then when things are sprouting and actually things have started to sprout already so I believe this was like um maybe 7 12 and then this was maybe like 7 14 and this was also around 7 uh 14 maybe 7 14 this never sprouted and this was also maybe 7-11. So I'm keeping track of when seeds um, were sowed, when they sprout, when I transplant them, the, f the date to flower, the date to first fruit set, and the date to harvest. And then lastly, when I finally um, uproot them or they die. I have more tasks here. And then this is a box for pest control. And I probably should get back to being diligent about my pest control. I haven't, and I feel like it's kind of showing. Okay, and then this is the last half of June, which I have in here because I want to um, hold on to these pages. And also I'm holding on to the first half of July here, of course. 
But yeah, this was just my little spread for June, just some notes of things I've sewed. And then also, excitingly, I've entered my um, nursery's annual zucchini growing contest. I'm very, very excited. Um, this is super cool. This is a really fun thing to do as a gardener. So I am looking forward to that. Um, and then this is July and it's currently, as I said, July 20th. So what I need to do right now is kind of uh, fill in some more things here, kind of decorate these pages as well, write down some notes and um, just kind of judge up these pages. So I already have some notes here and there, but um, by and large, I need, to, I need to like write down some more notes. So let me think here. Um, I'm gonna pull for my gardening sticker book here. Let's see, ooh, look, immediately I wanna grab this sticker right here, the circle sticker, and I'm gonna put it down on like Thursday and Friday, like right there. And I'm gonna make a note of my sunflowers. Um, they finally uh, opened up their blooms. They finally bloomed. This was something I've been waiting for forever and they finally did it and i'm so happy they look so cool i need to go out and take photos because it looks fantastic and then i think maybe on the 9th um i'm gonna write a note that i harvested about 10 cherry tomatoes Ooh, I have a little first harvest sticker here. I think this is like the first solid cherry tomato harvest of my cherry tomato, which is really, really doing well. And actually, I think I'm gonna grab this harvest log sticker right here. I'm gonna pop it um, just like right here, I think, because I'm definitely feeling like we're getting really, we're gonna get a lot of harvest in the next, you know, couple of days. Which reminds me, I have another harvesting that I did on Saturday, I think. Let me see if there's another harvest sticker. Let's see. Okay, right here. On Saturday, I actually harvested two corn cobs. This is the first time I've managed to grow corn all the way to the cob stage. My corn wasn't as tall as I was expecting it to be, but it did give me some ears of corn and they were delicious. I really need to find like something to do with them. I'm not sure what to do with like two or three corn cobs. We'll have to see. Let me know. Maybe I should just do like corn on the cob or something. I did grow corn last year, but the gopher ate all of the corn before I was able to get it to the cob stage. So that was sad. Okay, and then I do want to make a note here. Um, what is today? Oh, let's go over here. Um, let's go to Wednesday the 19th. I do want to make a note that the gopher ate two lettuce and one corn. Okay, there's that. I'm going to add some washi tape here at the bottom before I get too carried away. And I forget to add washi tape. And then more washi tape at the top up here. Ooh, this is really pretty. Sometimes I get into the mindset that I just need to use floral themed washi tape um, in this gardening planner or like, you know, vegetable themed washi tape. And I avoid using kind of standard washi tapes, but um, I really should just get over that. It doesn't need to be matchy matchy all the time. That's really, really pretty. Um, I love this little gardening journal um, box. So I'm gonna add that right here. Oh, that's crooked. Oh no. Uh, whatever, it's slightly crooked. I really need to print out some like current pictures of my garden because I think it would be fun to put them here. Um, I do have a few pictures, but these are from like a while ago. Like my garden looks so different right now compared to this picture right here. Um, I have some other stuff here. I have this picture of this bee. This is a male carpenter bee. It's beautiful. It's a golden. Um, it's a big bee, much bigger than a honey bee, and it has these beautiful green eyes. Um, the females are black. They look completely different, 
the males definitely look i think very very cute but i saw this guy in my garden this is the second one i've seen this year and i always feel so blessed whenever i have one of these visit my space here so i'm thinking of putting this over here but then i also kind of want to save this for like the nice journaling spread that i do at the beginning of each season because i like kind of doing um, like these pages are here, right here, because I kind of like doing um, like the best pictures from the season on these pages here. I got to put these pictures in like the spring section of my uh, gardening planner, which right now is being housed back in the planner. So uh, got to do that later. Okay, I think I'll save that B picture for now. And then also, I just wanted to make a note here that my beefsteak tomatoes are starting to ripen. And then I'll make another note that my zumpkin and zucchini are really taking off and producing so much fruit. Oh, I'll also make a note that the lettuce is really starting to bolt. I think it's just too hot for it nowadays. Um, that's unfortunate. Ooh, I also want to make a note that um, the jalapenos are really coming in. Oh, and I'll make another note that the sunflowers um, started to bloom multiple blooms. It looks fantastic. Um, I thought they might only bloom like that big, you know, flower at the top of the plant, but actually I think they're going to bloom like 30 blooms per plant. I'll pop in a photo of what it looks like right now, and it's going to be really, really different from what I just showed you in the garden tour. So it's really exciting. It's gorgeous. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the same washi tapes to frame the bottom and the top. I really like that look. Maybe it would be fun to add some of these cute little triangles here and there throughout the page. Might as well use this like one random peach sticker. So I'll add this maybe, maybe up here. There's nothing to do with peaches there, but it's nice just to use it. And then maybe I'll list out some tasks for myself to complete um this weekend so i'll put this little to-do list right here ah it's so crooked okay it's fine and i think i'll add this little box right here i don't know what it will be for but i'll just add it here and then whatever i want to add in it um you know i'll see what i want to do with it when the day comes maybe i'll use this little remember flag to cover up that little notch there okay tasks for myself this weekend let me see i do need to weed the garden weed the garden i feel like that's something that i've been putting off for a while um oh neem oil yeah that's something that needs to happen so neem oil um i need to harvest zucchini and um i have so many zucchini on the plants right now and they're past the point of eating they're way too big they're way too old they're massive they're like easily you know this big and at that point they're really not meant for eating so i need to just harvest them and take them off the plant because the plant is just you know giving the plant giving the zucchini all of its resources and just like continuing to pour and invest in that fruit and I really want it to start making new fruits and encourage it to make new fruits and not continue to put all of its resources into these larger fruits that I'm not going to eat. So I need to harvest the zucchini and um, what I want to do is gather the seeds inside of it. I'm thinking of starting to really be mindful and intentional about collecting seeds from the fruit and using those to sow for next year or next harvest particularly like the plants that do really well my most like robust plants i want to just propagate that lineage we shall see you know sometimes i feel like seeds are created only for one generation and really aren't meant to continue propagating but we shall see so harvest zucchini and gather seeds and then I also, on top of that, need to research like seed storage. 
situations, like if I need to treat the seeds somehow, kind of give them a certain set of conditions before I, you know, slot, uh, store them long term. So there's that. Also, while we're here, I need to trim old growth on everything, basically. So that's going to be a task for sure. And then I think that's it for writing. And then for the rest of this page, I'm just going to sprinkle some boxes here and there, maybe some bullet points, and then we'll call it good. I really feel like I am coming to the end of this gardening book. I think that <laughs> um, I've used so much of it that it is really the last couple of stickers left here. And honestly, I still haven't really gotten the hang of how I want to like decorate this thing. I always feel like it looks kind of random and chaotic and you know, that's fine. I'm fine with that for now, but I think I'm still really trying to figure out how I want to um, structure my gardening planner and what looks best in it. And it is really difficult to decorate a box a day type of um, situation. I'm still figuring out how, how I want to use this sidebar here. Um, I really like it because it is so gardening specific. But for watering and sunlight, I think that these are maybe something I'll cover up or I'll change and then I'll keep these four categories because I find that, um, of course, I'm going to water more than seven times in any, you know, in three weeks. And of course, it's going to be, there's going to be sunlight more than seven times in three weeks. And so these aren't really conducive to a box a day situation or a three week at a time situation. But these fertilizer, turn soil, pull weeds and prune, I do these less frequently. And so I could see myself, you know, checking off the boxes just, you know, seven times in three weeks for pulling weeds, pruning, turning the soil. And I don't even know if I would fertilize that many times, like seven times in three weeks, maybe once a week. So maybe I'll keep these and just remind myself to do these at a consistent, you know, frequency. So, but these, I, I kind of want to do something else with those. And maybe I'll just go ahead and like cover them up right now. Maybe there is another habit I want to track in my garden. Ooh, look at this. I want to use this one because it's my sunflowers. I'll put that right there. And then maybe another set of boxes right here. Again, not sure what I'm going to do with these, but I like to just throw down some boxes, kind of give me some motivation to write down something there. I'm going to grab one of these little icons to remind myself to do some neem oil. Ooh, a little scissors for trimming the old growth. I'll put that there. Ooh, what about putting this sticker? Um, my boyfriend just got me this sticker. He went to a botanical garden with his mom and he brought this back for me. I think this would be super cute to put right here. What about this right there? I love that. Love it. Perfect. I think it's perfect now. Oh, I need to buzz pollinate again. Buzz pollinate the tomatoes. And then what about adding this pitcher plant sticker that my boyfriend also got me at the same botanical garden? That's super cute. Okay, and then I really like how this spread is turning out, but I feel like I've kind of neglected this half of the month because um, I didn't really do too much here. And then I'm focusing on what's coming in the next week and a half but i'm thinking of adding this pitcher plant sticker that my boyfriend also got me at that but same botanical garden I'm thinking of putting it right here feed me i love it and then maybe this moth sticker right here i do see some moths here and there in my garden at night not too many but i definitely do see them I get a lot of butterflies as well. I got this beautiful monarch butterfly that's visiting my garden pretty consistently. It's so beautiful. Let's see, I'm trying to remember what were some noteworthy things that happened in my garden um, last week. Let's see. One is that on Thursday, I did a really heavy pruning of the tomatoes. And then on 
Sunday, the gopher killed my marigold. Okay, I kind of want to wrap up this video, so I think I'm going to leave it like this. But the last thing I will do is go into my botanist sticker anthology and add a sticker here and there. Let's see. What's a good one? Ooh, I really like these yellow butterflies. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Ooh, I like that one. Okay, so I really like these yellow butterflies, so I think I'm going to use these to really brighten up the page so let me grab this sticker ah it's ripping a lot it completely ripped off a piece of this rude okay i'm thinking of putting this right here like so and then sprinkling these little butterflies around the page maybe i'll add this bright yellow flower here as well like so Ooh, right here and then I really like this little yellow flower as well. So I'll put this right here. Okay, I'll leave it like this. Um, okay, just maybe one more butterfly. Like maybe here at the top. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's it. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I'll fill in my little gardening journal later. But I think it turned out so, so cute. Oh, amazing. I love this so much. Um, and right now my garden looks even more crazy than from what I showed you in the vlog, which was more than a week ago at this point. So I'm going to definitely go ahead and film another one um, soon. So thank you so much for checking out this video. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know what you're up to in the garden if you have a garden. And I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, happy planning, happy gardening, and have a beautiful rest of your day. Adios.